Welcome to Seymour from the Front Pew podcast, coming to you from the broadcast studio at Seymour First Baptist Church in Seymour, Tennessee, and featuring thoughts and discussions around loving God, loving others, making disciples, and living the life. I am your host, Tiger Brooks, and now on to the podcast. All right, here we go with a much overdue, um, a now much overdue podcast. We were busy yeah, last week. Yeah, it's been crazy for like- last week. Hey, listen. <laughs> When I weren't mean, we? <laughs> I used to say, I think it's going to slow down in a couple of weeks. I have stopped saying it. You have. I have stopped saying it. We were specifically busy during the time that we really needed to record a podcast. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was uh, just a lot going on. And so we apologize for uh, being uh, an episode uh, late getting out to you. But this episode is going to take on a, a little bit different color than some of the more recent episodes. We're going to make this one a little bit lighter. Uh, but after th- welcoming you, well, let's first say, Sean, it's good to have Sean visiting. Yeah. He's in here, in here for Woo-hoo. Austin, who is otherwise occupied right now, dealing with some uh, Seymour kids that are preparing for their Veterans Day program. And so we appreciate Sean uh, pinch hitting for here. Austin. So I don't get fired. <laughs> it's a I'm standard just, answer. Yeah. I'm, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah. Um, the so amount, the amount of hair in the room went up by like forty percent. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> I mean, you're growing yours back out. It's that uh, time we'll of the see year. How long it lasts? I don't know. <laughs> Austin's growing his beard back out. I'm I'm very proud. But he shaved the head back. He did. He had He's he had some it out stubble. For the moment. He had. Uh, we're going to talk about the trunk or treat in just a second. Uh, for the trunk or treat, our our theme this year was Christmas and Austin and Leah maybe we talked about this Austin and Leah yeah chose, he, he brought that up yeah, yeah. He, he he was going to do the uh like a scene from their favorite Christmas movie which is Die Hard which is a point of contention for many people is Die Hard a Christmas movie or is it not clearly the Clarks are in the it is camp I am and, too. Uh, I, I agree um but it was FYI, perfect. What he did was perfect. If anybody is wondering, stubble hair on Austin's hair is like baby soft. It is. It was wild. It's, it's remarkable. Crazy. You wouldn't think so. <laughs> you wouldn't think that it would be as soft as it is, but he has quite the uh, baby hair softness <laughs> when he chooses to grow it out. So this episode, we wanted to jump in and uh, welcome you in. Thanks for listening, but also kind of... Um, talk about trunk or treat we we had a very successful trunk or treat uh once again this year when we thought we might just kind of go around and reflect yeah. on some of the uh some of the highlights um you are you happy with yeah. the theme are you happy with the direction everything yeah no i landed? think i think it went great i mean we've talked about it we always try and seek ways that we can improve it or or ways that could have been done a little different to make it better and i think the hard part with this year was timing i mean mm-hmm. when halloween was um, and, uh, compared to when we could do trunk or treat. So I think we were, we were a few days from Halloween, five days from it. So I think that hurt to some degree in prior to Halloween. So some people just aren't in the mode of, of Halloween five days prior. Um, but ultimately I think it was a great, I mean, we, I think we had about 1600 people here. Yeah. Um, church turnout was the best we've ever had. Yeah. Uh, we had 51 trunks and man, people came out. I think people really kind of got behind the theme and, and, and enjoyed doing the theme to the degree that I had a lot of people saying, can we get the theme for next year before the summer? Yeah. Because they're wanting to plan it out. And and so I think, you know, it may not necessarily always be specifically theme driven um, like this, but I, I think we have a plan to potentially do that next year and release that earlier so folks can do trunk like they want and um but our, our folks came and, and and really showed out to love the community and um and that's again that's what it was about and and uh, so theme, it really well theme was definitely elevated this year man, i think so like, yeah yeah and uh, uh i think everybody really kind of latched onto it i don't mm-hmm. think we had any like they'd say rogue no or whatever mm-hmm. else but, uh, <laughs> yeah uh, no. everybody kind of gra- gra- grabbed on and yeah and really- but even even people having fun with doing the christmas theme 
with the Halloween yeah. twists yeah. and kind of yeah, having some different elements in that. They had some fun with it, and so yeah. it was good. And uh, number, we think 1,600-ish, uh, maybe down a couple hundred from last yeah, year, but we bad. also know there were two or, two or three other fall festival events mm-hmm. going on, a couple other churches and uh, the airport, a couple other things all going on at the same time, and so um, uh, plus a Sunday afternoon, and mm-hmm. you know, sometimes that can be hit or miss or whatever else, and so... Uh, but yeah, I think we were all very, it's very good, pleased. Our, I know a lot of good interactions with our people, and even the way registration was set up, I think allowed yep. for more interaction and and uh, all of that. And so, uh, really, really excited about how that landed. The weather was yeah. perfect. Yeah. It was, it, it it was really a good was. day. It was a little warm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could in I, your in I, your Santa suit. I sure. could have done with a, just a little bit cooler. Uh, <laughs> More brisk temperatures yeah. uh, in that my Santa snowman suit. suit was probably even hotter. Yeah, yeah. It was like a little <laughs> greenhouse effect going on. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it, it's air conditioned, right? I mean, he's got a fan <laughs> blowing the whole time. I mean, so can't yeah. get hot in there, right? Oh, says my my sweat otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I good. think uh, it was everybody that that I spoke with, everybody that um, found out about it. Like I sent some pictures of of some of the things to some of my family back home and uh, they all thought wow what a great what a great theme that looked yeah, like everybody had cool. fun with it and everybody did um especially like you say some some even way were able to kind of weave the a halloween christmas thing in the nightmare mm-hmm. before christmas uh, who, who all did that i can't remember but yeah there's a was, few yeah that was that yeah, was, was few really cool. mm-hmm. um there was just some really really uh thoughtful mm-hmm. some people spent a lot of time and money <laughs> yeah. to to pull it off yeah. and it, it made it really special you know i i think about the number of people and maybe we were you know down a couple of hundred from last year but i'm not sure if we could have got them all in right. within no. the time frame because it yeah. never stopped i mean the, yeah. the line was i mean we cut it off i think the last point. 15 minutes it, it was slowed down slower, yeah. but yeah. that's about it um, yeah. and candy wise we were we right on, out on. yeah i mean yeah. so we started with uh you know some people are numbers people some yeah. people are not and they may not care but for those who are the numbers people we started with just over sixty thousand pieces of candy and that's just what we had as the church what people brought to the church and what we paid for what we went and bought um and uh and then of course people bring their own candy and and mm-hmm. and we came down we got everything was gone yeah everything went out to now some people the trunks they took their own yeah. they took what they had left and they they take it home with them because we don't collect it yeah um, but it ended up being perfect kids walking away with a good amount of candy oh too. yeah oh, I God. saw buckets full and all kinds of stuff yeah. So. yeah I mean they were they were coming around I mean some kids like didn't really estimate it correctly they their vessel <laughs> their vessel <laughs> was far it. too small yep. to hold it all and they were like putting it in other places other people had like pillowcases yep. yeah. and they were going around and they were pretty weighty yeah um so it was it was quite fun um so good. with that that go, that's going to segue into our first kind of fun uh topic topic and uh, topic activity game whatever you want to call it so we're going to do a game called start bench cut okay so for any of you non-sports related people when you think about team sports, you you pick people who are going to start, people who are going to be on the bench, and then people who cut. So typically, uh, we're going to have a category of trunk or treat candy. Oh. Okay. I'm going to give you the three, and then you are going to decide which one you're going to start, which one you're going to bench, and which one you are going to cut. Okay. Do we need to keep record of this? Not really. Okay. I mean, if you can't remember oh. three things. Hey, man. I think you'll be. <laughs> now, will you Some keep... days are harder The than next others. game, you'll probably want to keep a record of. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So, let me get my, let me refer to my. He's made notes. My yeah, I know. It's a little scary. My legal pad. And he wouldn't let us see it ahead of time. Okay, all right. So. Yeah, we have no idea what's coming. Here are the candies that Are we you... doing this according to you, like you're judging? Yeah, of course. Okay. So it's Somebody's based on tigers, not ours. Somebody's oh, do I'm based on <laughs> okay. me. Somebody's got to do this. And so here are your three candies for start, bench, cut. All right. Skittles. Mm-hmm. Snickers. Mm-hmm. Reese's Cups. Mm. This is for you. You're the one. Or in general. I mean, I'm, I'm going to decide who's, who <laughs> he wins. He has an opinion, but. 
We'll give our opinion. I, I'm the one who declares who wins because somebody's got, got to. I got that. That's, I got it. That's in the bag. Mm-hmm. On that one. I'm good. I already know what yours is going to be. I bet you don't. Oh, well, let's see. Start. Right. Go ahead, What do you Jason. think mine's going to be? Skittles. Yeah, see, Skittles is my bench. Is it really? Yeah, Skittles. Praise the Lord. We can have well, a conversation see, uh, now. <laughs> Skitt- Skittles is my cut. We can have a conversation. Well, that's what I meant. My, my okay, cut. Your cut. Okay. Yeah. Start bench cut. Yeah. See, it's my he cut. He needed so to write both. it down. Amen. I did need to write it down. Yeah. All right. My third one. All right. Go ahead. No, it's it's Reese's Snickers Skittles. So that Re- is the order. Yeah. No. That is the your order. Your Snickers. Snickers. Reese's. Yeah. Snickers. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, for me, it's. Reese's. I mean, like you can make a meal out of a Snickers. You can't make a meal out of Reese's cut. Oh yeah. If you eat enough of them, you can. Well, so my. My question hungry. would be You're hungry, some, right? some determination there. Are we yeah, talking the Snicker, the plain Reese cups? Yes. Or are we talking like the the pumpkin Reese cups? Right. Because yeah. the pumpkin and the trees taste they are better. Different. The, the, no, it, see, I'm no, actually the other no, one. They no, taste no, no. better. If it's I'm a, the Reese's if cup. it's a pumpkin Reese yeah. cup, it is going top. It's they going take, start for They sure. are much better. If it's just a normal Reese cup, I'm probably going to go Snickers first and then Reese. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm still Snickers first regardless, but. It's because you can, like, I mean, I can make a lunch out of a Snickers if I need to. Yeah. <laughs> Especially well, if I probably Snickers. shouldn't. Yeah. I love, I love Snickers. Snickers. Not, I, I love that. Yeah. There's, like, substance to it. Yeah. Right. I'm not, it's got peanuts in it. That means it's got a protein. <laughs> right. It's, but so does Reese. It's got all right? the food groups covered. Not really. <laughs> it's got milk, chocolate. <laughs> I said yeah. this on a Wednesday night the other night. Like, so Skittles, I ran across a thing on Skittles. It said it may, it is, like, the worst food on the planet. Because there's nothing real in it. It is all synthetic sugars and dyes. It, they're outlawed in Europe. You can't yeah. find Skittles. Yeah. So you said something the other day walking down the hallway at the office, and it uh, just kind of baffled me. You Uh-oh. said something about your favorite color Skittle, but they all taste the same. No, no they don't. They yes, don't. they do. No, no, no they don't. They all <laughs> taste like fruit. <laughs> they, don't all, they are not M&Ms. No, no like, they are There is a flavor. Now, they the, even say a flavor on the no. thing. Now, the packages, yes. Like, if you Sean, get a red have, package and a You have long package. COVID if you don't taste it. <laughs> but they all taste, taste the same skill. to me. No, they just, no. Like no you candy. need to eat a green and a yellow one. Compared to a red and a purple one, there's a, there's big a difference. difference. I all just right. don't like them at yeah. all. We're, we're about <laughs> to dispatch Shelby down to the Erica, <laughs> down to her office to get a handful and bring them back up here. Are you seriously I really, saying that you can't taste the I, difference? If I like a red pack of Skittles, they all taste same to me. Yeah, that's no, horrible. They're different. <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not gonna make you do that. <laughs> she was getting. We up. know he's wrong. You don't need to go get him. That's we know a, he's wrong. That's a fine assistant right there. She was ready, to Johnny, on the spot. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, all right. So, what was yours? there's right, got to be another let's, one. Let's Reese's go around. Snickers. It depends. His, his was, it depends. Depends on what the reason. You can't depend. Yeah. It's like a coach saying, "It depends." <laughs> <laughs> so you were Snickers, Reese's Skittles. Snickers, Reese's Skittles. And you were. I'll go Reese's, Reese's cups. Let's go Reese's, Reese's cups. cups. Then Snickers, Reese's Snickers, cups. Reese's cups, yeah. Skittles, and you and you had Skittles as a as a cut. I just threw it yeah. in there because. You thought he had, was going to. I had sympathy on you it. because no, you like his. Oh. His is those nasty Swedish ropes or whatever. Are we doing another round sweet of this? Sweet tart ropes. You want to? We can. Well, because yeah. like. This went a lot faster than I thought. Yeah. Well, I mean, because like the winner of all this would be peanut M&M's. I mean, like. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not there. I, I like peanut M&M's, but they're not my favorite. Yeah. I mean. A jar of peanut M&M's could never last in this office. Uh, oh, so we, <laughs> we, hey, we did it one time. Yeah, yeah, it that was, was last year. Gone. Yeah, they're, I was yeah. mad because I reached in there and there were Skittles. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... Exactly. Yeah. This is unworldly. So we actually have kids in the church that remember the count from the year before. Yes, that's how third place was gotten. Right, so that's why we try. we have to switch up the candy every year. No lie. Well, you can do third doing place the same remembered thing. the number from last year and guessed near that number, and he, and he won got third place. place. Yeah. So it was peanut butter. It, no, it was peanut no. M and M's last year. No, right? it was no, Mike and Ike's last Mike year. Mike and Ike's last year. Oh my god. Peanut M and M's was Easter. That's what we had. Sour yes. Easter, right. Yes. No, it's Sour were, Patch Kids at one point in time. So you talk about one that didn't go anywhere. Like, oh, I love Sour Patch Kids. But yeah, they're but hard that, to eat a lot. Eat a that thing sat there Her for will, oh, like, just yeah. You can't eat them. You can't eat them quickly. Yeah, we need to start having a staff poll on what candy we're going to do. Uh, that way, yeah, we, we do. So we eat through them. We would. I wouldn't hit a bull in the butt with a Mike and I. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I. <laughs> 
That's the nice. I like Mike and Ike. That's the I nastiest. Like Mike and Ike. Those I are like good. I like Mike and Ike's better than Skittles. That is yes, only. I, I mean, if you had a slingshot, then give me some Mike and Ike's. <laughs> we can have some fun with them then, but they're useless to eat. That's nothing. Good heavens! Don't tell me that so, they taste the same. Now you're back in the song. <laughs> they don't taste like anything. Mike and Ike's are just one level above. Skittles. No, <laughs> you know, I don't even want to say it. Candy corn. Oh my gosh. So there are people that are wired differently than other people. Yeah. So when you say candy to certain people, some people they don't think chocolate. Right. They think they're weird. Skittles and spree. That's and my son. Sweet tarts and Mike and Ike's, and I'm like, that's not, that's not candy. Bennett if it's not is a chocolate, sugar candy boy. It's not candy in my in, no, in my world. Know. Yeah, I'm not with you on that. See, there's a lot like to me, sweet tart ropes. I love sweet tart ropes. I mean, it's all candy. I'm okay with sweet tarts, but if there's any chocolate whatsoever anywhere around, then it's You're getting taking cut. The chocolate, yeah. yeah, it's getting now. Cut. Nerd clusters have uh, kind of taken over that. They oh, are yeah. really, really good. They are, yeah. The nerd clusters. I like nerd really clusters, good. but the sweet tart ropes to me still are. I like uh, the sweet tart ropes. Nerd clusters are really, really good. There's a there's a famous, have you seen the interview with Mike Leach? Uh-uh. God rest his soul. Mike, Coach Mike Leach, <laughs> head coach for a number of teams. Most recently, he was with the Mississippi, Mississippi State, State yeah. Bulldogs. He had been at Washington State. He had been in Texas at Texas uh, at the uh, Red Raiders. Um, Texas Tech? Texas Tech. Yep. Uh, for a while. But anyway, <laughs> just an amazingly hilarious, brilliant, very smart mm-hmm. coach, but awkward and just crazy. And after a game, he the post-game interview, he had, they had won. And rather than talking about football, it was near Halloween. And the reporter asked, what are your top three Halloween candies? And he begins to break it down just like any of <laughs> us would. And he, he, he hates candy corn. Mm-hmm. And he, he said immediately, candy corn is not even worth talking about. But nerd clusters, he mentioned as a relative new candy that need, that deserves attention. It deserves attention. <laughs> nerd it's clusters. Good. It's really good. Yeah, they're really good. Hey, here's the question, the controversial whoppers. Whoppers. Ugh. Yeah. Do you yeah. like whoppers? I do. I- I do, I do, but then you get the dud whopper, and it throws and it's like, the whole yes, thing the inside off. is yes. yes, yep. I do, I do like whoppers. I like whoppers. They're not my favorite, but I will eat them. Did okay. you know peanut M and M's have M and M's without peanuts in them on purpose? You know, whenever you get that no. one and it's all it's chocolate, chocolate, that's on purpose. Really, I didn't I know. No idea. I don't know that I've ever got a peanut M M&M and M without a peanut in it. Yeah, they I've never in, had that. They're in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh. peanut butter. M and M's. Yeah, I don't like that. I like. I like uh, it's like Reese's pretzel, Pieces. Pretzel. But, M&M. but that's oh. just M M&M and M trying to copy Reese's Pieces. It okay, is. so it have is. you had a emerge this conversation though? We're gonna run out of time with this, but no, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we're gonna have to. <laughs> Got to move on. Go ahead. Merge Reese's. It, there is a candy that merges Reese's and Snickers in my mind. What you call it? It's Fast Break. Fast break, yeah, I've had a fast Reese's fast, fast break because the bottom is the nougat yeah. of of. Yeah. I'm a not Snickers, a fast break fan, and then the top is the Reese's. I like yeah. the Reese's oh. sticks. Uh, I've never had that. Reese's sticks are good. Never had yeah. Reese's sticks. I don't like Reese's. Was it like a Twix? It's kind of yeah, but you don't have the caramel. It's just yeah. It's butter. got like a crispy wafer and the yeah. peanut butter and chocolate. I could I can get behind that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, all right. That's one of my travel foods. Like if I'm on a you know get candy and then. Pilot gas, mm-hmm. gas station, as I'm mm-hmm. trying to it might be a Reese's Sticks. All right, we're going to transition now to the coup de gras of activities. Ooh. We may be we may be um, hitting this a little bit early, but maybe what we say here could impact <laughs> Thanksgiving meals right. for everyone coming up here in a few weeks because this is the Thanksgiving meal draft <laughs> that was about to go down right here yeah. at our table. We know so, how Sean will do it a draft. <laughs> so the, <laughs> Auto select. Auto draft. Yeah. He's just going to leave select. the room. <laughs> He's going to leave the room let me do it Hope for him. Hope for the best. <laughs> what, what's a draft? <laughs> so here's how the draft works. Pay attention, Sean. <laughs> so there are five rounds, okay? And for those of you playing along at home, you can, you can uh, do this with us. There are five rounds, and we. this is the w- draft order, okay? This is the way that we are going to do it. Uh, the first round will be 
proteins, your Thanksgiving main entree protein. Your second and third rounds will both be sides, side dishes for Thanksgiving. Your fourth round will be dessert. And your fifth round, which I credit Jason for this idea because this is good. Your fifth round is going to be kind of a wild card. It's going to be your post-Thanksgiving leftover concoction. Mm. Whatever you think you can do with the leftovers. And that's going to be your fifth round pick. Okay? And so the way this is works, this is going to be a, a, a snake draft. In other oh, words, we're, we're, going go. to, right. we're going to start with Corey. I like that. Go to Jason. Then you'll start the next round and come back to you. Okay, that's okay. why that I works. I like it. So and Jason so, has two picks in a row. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> round and so one and round two. Yeah. And so Let's go last on the protein. That's the hard one. <laughs> that's what I, I was just Protein's hoping I wasn't last. One. I know. That's I was just hoping one. I wasn't last on the first. We'll have to let him do third round. Then go back round. Yep. Yeah. Somebody's right. got to get a pick. Okay, anyway. Are you picking? No, I'm just judging. Okay. So here's the way. I'm going to uh, ultimately judging. judge. This is very judgmental. I am. <laughs> I'm going to ultimately judge the winner of this uh, of this Thanksgiving meal draft. So not fair, though, because your yeah, tastes well, are I'm totally like different. I, I eat everything. There is nothing. No, Jason yeah. eats nearly nothing. There's I've got a third nothing. protein, <laughs> but I'm not telling you. <laughs> you have a third? I have three proteins, yeah, too. Yeah, see, there we go. Listen, right. there is absolutely. I have, I have a protein I don't think any of y'all mentioned. I don't think, but we'll see. There's nothing at Thanksgiving. Giving, I won't eat. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's that's my wheel. You heard that? Kick it off. All right, ready? bring here it to go. Tiger. Round Hill. one. Let's right. Round this one. Out. What can I say that he won't eat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bring it to him and he'll eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Round one. Dessert. Corey. Corey. I have to go with the your, obvious choice. What is your number one? Yeah. It has to be turkey. Yeah. So turkey is off the board yep. with. And I am a traditional baked turkey, like uh, not, yeah. no fried turkey, uh, none of that. Oh, if you do it right, like it man, no. you do you do it right. Hours I mean, in the oven, sure. Based in bag, do all you that inject stuff. Inject your turkey. Um, so we typically it is coated in butter, uh-huh. and then usually a little uh, Cajun seasoning sprinkled over yep. and around. Every now and then we'll have like layers of bacon on top or mm-hmm. something like that. Do you uh, literally do that? You don't do the stuffing in the turkey like no, old we don't do the stuffing okay. in the turkey right. um, i like injecting um, the butter into my turkey we we've not had to do that it's it always been really so really good tender. And so we just Yum. do a you know a low mm. low temperature for hours and yep. it's really good melody's yep. dad or brother typically do it but i could if i had to yeah. so you know. all right so i this here here is uh i'm gonna have to make a ruling here and that is will we accept Different kinds. alternate because my first alternate versions smoked of turkey. turkey smoked turkey is so much greater. So I would say baked or protein fried. is a protein. Yeah, it doesn't I think, matter how you I think cook turkey's it. turkey. All right, it's no, off the table. there is a different smoke, ways to do it. That's the way I intended it. It's off the so table. So much yep. different. Yeah, it's off the table. I think However, Sean has to pick a fried protein. fried tur- deep fried turkey. I've tried uh, three years ago. Deep for fried turkey. Deep fried turkey favorite. would probably be my second one. Very it's my favorite. Yeah, no, very good. One. So but, my smoked turkey will. I'm a traditionalist when it comes to the turkey. Turkey any day. <laughs> All right, so turkey's off the table. Off the table. Okay. So Sean, what is your? Then I'm gonna have to go because growing up. My grandma will never see this <laughs> podcast, praise the Lord. She doesn't know how to cook worth a lick. <laughs> Don't count on it, because your grandfather watches about every form of thing that, that we put true. out. He, he does. told us all no, about no, no, it. No, that's Cameron's side. That's okay, Cameron's right. side, okay. not my side. <laughs> okay. I mean, He'll they, tell him. I don't think my side knows how to use technology, but so... I grew up eating dry turkey every year. So growing up, that's I why you don't like this, like turkey. But so my <laughs> go-to is always honey ham. I love a honey. I, ham. I can get a. I can get a. Yeah, yeah. that's a good. So one. I smoked a turkey, and then I was like, "Oh, the Lord changed my mind." And <laughs> so good. Yeah, yep. those are. Well, those I are like easily. Uh, yep, I like those honey. Easily ham. top two. Yep, I can. Do right. they have honey baked ham here? Is yeah. that a thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. Unfortunately, I'm just left. The spiral slice ones are oh, back man. home. It's back home, there's socks off. Pratt's. Pratt's has spiral sliced honey baked ham, and uh-huh. it's really That's good stuff. Right really there. good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So mine is Boston butt. That's not we bad. We have Boston butt every for- year for, especially when we go to the beach. A lot of times we go to the beach for Thanksgiving with my family, and we almost always have turkey and Boston butt. Turkey's just the standard. You got to have it. And this year, my mom actually suggested that we do something other than 
the Boston butt. And I said, no, 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 we got to have a Boston butt. Like, so an, an, a, like a combination, butt. and no, mm-hmm. most people don't think about this, but between the two of y'all, mm-hmm. we do at Christmas, it's called a picnic ham. Yeah. And so it's it's more ham-like in, in yep. its taste and everything, but it pulls apart like, like, uh, like, like a, a butt. Boston mm-hmm. butt or like a shoulder or whatever else. And they're really, really good. It's just yep. smoked and, and it's really, really good. So anyway, but okay. Yeah. All right. So you're, yeah. I can you safely get, say uh, I've never had, never had barbecue pork. I, I, it's just barbecue for Christmas yeah. or for Thanksgiving. Yeah, for it's a little different. Like I'm I not scoffing in the I, least. Right. No. And I don't, when we eat it though, it doesn't taste like barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue is different for me, but, and by the way, we based in Dr. Pepper. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. It's pretty good. Okay. Interesting. All right, I've heard of Coke, yeah. marinades. No, it's and better with Dr. Pepper. Yeah, the marinade is Dr. Pepper, Dr. and it is better than fantastic. Coke. Okay, yeah. all right, very good. All right, yeah, so man. second uh, round one: Corey turkey, Woo-woo. Sean ham, Jason pork, Boston butt. Yep, and Jason starts. Jason starts round, round two, two which is, is the hard first because side. I have a lot of sides that are like staples for me. Yeah, but. Hmm. I'm going to have to go with for Thanksgiving and it all depends on how you cook it. There are, I've had some nasty ones, but the good Thanksgiving stuffing. Yeah. All right. Are you, are you meat in your stuffing or are you strictly bread? No, it's got, well, I don't know. Stuffing and dressing are the same. That's what I was about. So that was, I was going to ask for that clip. And it's got it to me. And and by the the way, gravy is like, that's just a part of it. Yeah, I would say good stuffing. That's not a side. Gravy is not a standalone side. It's it's accompaniment. So my grandpa makes stuffing with like pulled chicken in it. Oh my goodness. So knock yourself. Mom, mom made sausage. Oh, yeah. So good. I've had it with turkey in it. I've had it with chicken. I like that, what you call cornbread dressing with a lot of sage in it. Yeah. He won't eat that. He doesn't eat. No, I do like, yeah, but but that. When you it doesn't do like that, cornmeal. It doesn't have the oh, same texture. Yeah. Okay. The texture is different. Yeah. Texture. Yeah, what I don't like cornbread is the texture, the grainy texture. Yeah. And that doesn't yeah. that's not in stuff. Yeah. So. Dressing as a side is like that's the, yeah. the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, anyway. All right. All right. That's Strong. one. Number two. Deviled eggs. I absolutely love a deviled egg. Deviled eggs. Funny story. Oh, Melody's mom would not call them deviled eggs. She calls them church eggs. Church eggs. <laughs> Christian We're not eggs. eating devils. It. <laughs> I mean, like I've heard angel eggs. Yeah, oh, angel yeah. eggs. He called them church eggs. That's yeah. Funny. I mean, if you go if you go deep with that, I mean, like you can understand a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yes. move on. <laughs> Deviled eggs is a is a pretty strong yeah, a second good. round. Oh, yeah. that, that was a that was that's, a good that was a good. There's call. lots of things that you over you jumped over in most people's minds. Yeah. To and get I will yeah. jump in front of line to get some deviled eggs. <laughs> yeah, because they ran out the fastest. Yes, okay. specifically they're Cameron's gone. Grandma. I ain't mad at it. All right, I got I've, I've got I've got one. It's it's not always my favorite, but I think I have to take it here. You know how sometimes you know. Yeah. I feel like I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Cranberry sauce. Oh, okay. no. That wasn't what I was thinking, but yeah. It's, it's not even on my nope. list. No, <laughs> cranberry sauce <laughs> goes with Thanksgiving. No, That's I get it. That's what most people it say. It has I just to go like with Thanksgiving. Like made cranberry sauce or the junk that comes in the can? I don't care. Either one. <laughs> that, I don't care. I and I don't, <laughs> I don't care like if it can. has the fruit in it or doesn't have the <laughs> yeah. fruit in it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Still the solid I, shape. So I can remember. Yeah. Oh, I can remember you, you know, taking both both pieces off the can and just and then slice it. <laughs> yeah. You got to have the sound effect. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. To have the ridges from the can. Yes. Yeah. You'd use you that yeah. to slice That's it. That's the decor. <laughs> Fine by me. I don't care. I mean, like any of it. I, I love, love cranberry. Yes, right. So. <laughs> quick story about cranberry sauce when i was still in kingsport this is years ago mom and um uh, my aunt uh were obviously principals involved with all of our main thanksgiving meals and uh there was one particular cranberry i don't even know if you would call it cranberry salad or cranberry sauce but it was cranberries but it has the nuts and it's got other yeah, stuff in yeah. it and it's kroger sells it and they love it and the kroger in the tri-city all the kroger in the tri-cities were sold out Mm. we had to make a road trip to the kroger off of north shore in knoxville Mm. that's funny to get to get the cranberry sauce for the from the krogers Mm. and took two of them back home for the for our meal that's how that's how important cranberry is all right so all right so we go to round two round two let Are we me, letting let me, Sean pick yeah, first on this one? Let me, let me recap. All right, round two of the first sides, stuffing slash dressing, 
Then we have deviled eggs and cranberry sauce yep. for Corey. Yeah. All right. All and right. now in round three, we're going to let Sean give his second side. So uh, this is where I thought you were going. So I'll take it. Mac and cheese. Uh, uh, that's what I wanted to do, and, but I, I, you know, yeah. I had to go with the more traditional Thanksgiving I thing. So. I feel you. And I'm, I'm going to, my wife's against this, but I am very much a baked mac and cheese man. I like At to, Thanksgiving, I, I like agree. to be able to cut like it out, you know, not just soup. Okay. Yeah. No. I like the baked I want mac and cheese. It's noodles list, and cheese. Yeah, soup. You don't even have to put milk in it. Just <laughs> noodles and cheese. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. All right. All right. So, which one of us is going? You got to make the call. Uh, let's go back to Corey. All right. So, I'm going to go. Man, I'm I'm between two here. I've got like three that I want. One yeah, obvious I'm, one has still not been said. Yeah. We're going to do like, we're going to, I don't know I don't what know. you think. No, definitely one. I'll tell you a minute. Shouldn't. All right. I'm I can think of three. But. Since I didn't get mac and cheese, I'm going hash brown casserole. Okay. It's interesting. Cracker barrel, hash brown casserole. This is similar. Yeah. HBC. Okay. Man, that means I've got a I've got like three that But see for me it would not be mac and cheese. It would be macaroni salad. Macaroni salad. Yes. Well, oh, that's horrible. But that's my gra- like it's not Thanksgiving cuz my grandma I mean like my grandmother always did the macaroni salad. Macaroni salad. I loved it. You can have it. No, I love it. And it, in fact, we it's one of the main things we always say. That ha- we have to have the macaroni salad. And that's funny. That's what you're going with? Well, and then I'm trying to think of we're going to have like a that's a, one that's we like got to have some honorable mention. Yeah, we got to do some honorable. We have some honorable mentions like, before sure. we before we move to roll before we move to four. But give me your third before you get the honorable mention. Okay. Everything that's been said, I'm going to say third. Mm. I'm going to say potato casserole. Potato casserole. Potato casserole. What is that? Yeah, so elaborate. The way my mom does potato casserole is it's okay. chunks of potato with butter. Mixed in with it, and then sli- like chunks of like you take bread and you chunk it up, oh. and you mix it on top, and it's covered in cheese. That's interesting. And butter on top of that, so it browns the it browns the the bread, and the potato obviously is like chunks of bread, but okay. it, I mean chunks of, of uh, never heard of it. Yeah, that, so that's that probably one. one. I'm gonna put that one in there because that's one of my three that has to be at Thanksgiving. See, and now if we start talking about casserole. some honorable mentions, to me, green bean casserole is Oh, a, that was my no, next no, one. So that, that's what I was no, between. That was at the top. Oh, no. With the onion. Nope. Yeah. How? Yeah, yes. with the onion nope. stuff. Yeah, yes. cream, cream of mushroom soup in yep. it or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. I have never mashed had potato. Thanksgiving meal without mashed potatoes. That's, that's what I was so, being. Yeah, we don't saying mashed potatoes. We do them, but I don't eat them. By the what? time you have, I don't either. No, by the time you have dressing and like a mm-hmm. hash brown casserole, That's the mashed what? potatoes is the binder. No. Yeah, uh-huh. you, mix you it put the gravy. You got you got to have no. you got your slabs of turkey, and then you have your dressing, and then you put the mashed potatoes there, and you put gravy all over it. That's Thanksgiving. So, but if I did that, I would yeah. get like that big of everything else to eat because like my stomach would be completely heavy <laughs> and full see we don't but, like do, i want to eat more things yeah we don't so, do potato mashed potatoes because we do potato, potato casserole so that is yeah. our potato so I, we I don't do mashed that. potatoes yeah so uh, this is a holiday staple at for melody's family and we we've taken it on is black olives like oh just, yeah no yep, just, uh, <laughs> i'm a hard no on that all, yeah, i good. take back everything well, i said about said Thanksgiving. No. <laughs> yep. because no yeah. normal person would break out the black <laughs> olives yeah, we do black for olives. thanksgiving <laughs> yeah we do black jeez olives. louise that's, 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 that's that greek bread. people it is it's Those the greeks yep. it is greek the greek italian side. people yep. it is so. but i do think that green bean casserole has got green bean casserole is good i'm with you i'm not mad at green bean casserole i've eaten some good green bean i think there's a well now maybe i don't need to say it there's some transitional things here. Uh huh. Sweet potato <laughs> casserole. Yeah, yeah. sweet potato it's casserole. I would say that that is a. That is I think a, that's a side. That's a side. It's, it's not a, a dessert. Mandarin orange salad is a correct. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. The ambrosia salads yeah. and mm-hmm. the um. It's yeah, a, it's like an almost salad. dessert. Right. Almost, almost dessert, dessert right. at Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Sweet potato casserole. What? No, no, no. Oh, this oh, ambrosia salad. I know what it is. I've never had that at a Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Must be a Tennessee thing. All right, so let me recap everybody's first three rounds before we go to round four or five. We have Corey with turkey, cranberry sauce, and hash brown casserole. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. Jason enters in the chat with pork, Boston butt, stuffing slash dressing, and potato casserole. 
and then Sean with ham, deviled eggs, and mac and cheese, mm. specifically baked. I could eat every one of our lists. I don't yeah. know about yours. <laughs> 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 that dressing and, and Boston butt is still. How do I do that together? Mm, but anyway, that, that, yeah. it isn't. It, there is an it's outlier there. Little, yeah. Anyway, but, all, right, yeah so all right. So round four is desserts, oh, Thanksgiving man. meal desserts. It's tough. And we are going to go have to go back to Corey now. All right. For well, the start of round four. And I've got to do the. I mean, I've got the traditional stuff going on. It'd have to be pumpkin pie. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. And yeah, I like but, pumpkin pie. Mm-hmm. I've got. I've got another one that I would have done. That homemade I pumpkin pie, like from a real pumpkin. Not from a real pumpkin. See, that's it's like so much better. Hmm. A real pumpkin, a real pie pumpkin. Yeah, it's it is significantly better. Oh man, I've got a story about that. Oh, but you yeah. gotta have. So I don't good. know we have time. <laughs> you gotta have Cool Whip. We'll see if I Ooh, come back oh, around to it. Oh. I don't like Cool Whip. Oh, cool, yeah, cool Whip. You I'm gotta have you. Cool Whip. Cool Whip on your pumpkin uh, pies. Mm-hmm. A must. It's yeah. a texture thing for me. All right. All right, so pumpkin pie is off the board. We'll go back to Sean. So I'm going to go with a cranberry cake. My dad makes this cranberry cake that has uh, like orange juice in it, so it's got a citrusy mm. cranberry. Oh, man. See, so you get your good. cranberry in. You can yeah, say you don't I like the good. sauce. But... I, I like cranberries. It's, it's just cranberry. when it comes out of that can. <laughs> <laughs> it's good can't, stuff. Can't do it. <laughs> you put that with a bite of dressing. Yeah. 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 The combination bites at Thanksgiving are extra special. Mm-hmm. It is, I, I, I can get on board with that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cranberry cake. That's the first. Never heard of cranberry yeah, I cake. I heard before. that one. That's, I would eat it. All right. Mine's pecan pie. Mm. Mm. Pecan. At least you said it correctly. He can. Pecan pie. No. Pecan pie. He can. Yeah, that's good. I got a couple honorable like mentions on that one, too. So Melody will make a cheesecake. And, mm. uh, oh, yeah. And it's always really, really, really good. Yeah. My granny would make a butterscotch pie. It was really good for mm. the, for Thanksgiving, too. Mm-hmm. And then just your regular old chocolate meringue and coconut meringue. Mm-hmm. They're really good stuff, too. And I have to bring in, because last time I said it, somebody made it for me. For my other grandmother, it was the cherry yum yum. The che- That's what it I was. Forgot about, we, I forgot about we cherry yum yum. I was trying to think yum of the yum. name of that the other yeah, day. That and that was from last was. year. I will gladly take a pecan pie. A pumpkin pie. Boy, you're just shameless. Yeah. <laughs> in, any just of the ones I mean, I'm saying, glad oh, anybody right. listens and wants we're, to make We're one. open to any of the above. <laughs> right. Totally happy with it. Melody makes a caramel pie that's really, really yeah. good, too. Anyway. All right. So okay, so now. I'm shameless. You ask for for dinners every time you I get know. up on Sunday. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> uh, so we're at round five. And round five, for those of you playing along at home, uh, round five is... The post Thanksgiving leftover concoctions. That is <clears throat> things you pull out of the you know, refrigerator a day or two later and you're like, Mix Okay, let's, let's let's what can we do with this? <laughs> All right. And so with this, we'll go back to Jason. Okay. For me it's it's the post Thanksgiving breakfast omelet. Oh that I will throw a call. lot of different things in there, mix some different things and like I can, I can mix all kinds of stuff in there. I can throw turkey. I can throw Boston butt in there. I probably won't throw macaroni, macaroni in there. No, that's that's. But no, I can but throw a lot of different yeah. things in a. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of good in a call. Post Thanksgiving omelet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like the I like the thought. We'll go back to. No, go back to Sean. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> one of the best things I've ever had post Thanksgiving was Cameron's grandpa. Uh, her grandma makes a like a country ham for thanksgiving Ooh. and he took the leftovers and made a ham salad mm. and he took the deviled eggs and chopped up the deviled eggs and mixed it in there with some mayonnaise wait you had leftover deviled eggs yeah well i mean that's there was that's a, a problem <laughs> i ate a lot, a lot that's a problem eat them all. but he mixed this and made this ham salad and man that on that one of those leftover good. rolls mm-hmm. very so interesting so i cannot i'm think not mad at it thanksgiving concoctions and not think about friends Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. With the sandwich where they do the moist maker and all that, mm-hmm. anyway, which I would never do because that yeah. sounds absolutely gross, horrible to me. So anyway, but I just think about like the leftover ham sandwich, like a good I, thick that was my next, ham yeah. from like you know a or real ham. Sandwich. Not, yeah, uh, yeah, or turkey. But I like I mm-hmm. like that big thick piece mm-hmm. of ham and a ham sandwich, and yeah, yeah. So that's, that's that. That was my second thought. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think of. Thanksgiving so, bread, what are y'all going for? It's the dressing. 
You don't do bread? Rolls. Kind of, maybe sister yeah, shoe rolls. Yeah, we do roll. We do rolls. Yeah, we do rolls, sister shoe rolls. Some kind of yeast rolls of some kind are the yeah. best. Yeah. 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 I'm down with that. Yep. You got to have something to sop up your mashed potatoes mm-hmm. and gravy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, one, one, uh, I've, I've, I've got a very traditional Thanksgiving there. One lot leftover yeah. concoction. Yeah, yeah. Have y'all seen this? It's the benefits of round one pick. <laughs> have you seen on social media or on some news vignette the Thanksgiving pizza? No. No, I hadn't seen this. Huh. It's very interesting. At first, you might think, huh, I don't know about that. But, I mean, like, they take a pizza dough, then they put the turkey gravy on it, then mm. slices of turkey, mashed potatoes. Um, they have uh, dressing some up. dressing in there, and then they put cheese and stuff on top of that. And I'm like, I would eat okay, that. I could I get, I could get yeah. around that. Mm-hmm. That might be a concoction I try. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that sounds good. I could yeah. get on board there. I think that that because that brings a whole new mm-hmm. that brings life to everything again. Yep, really interesting. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. All right, so in recap, I'm going to have my my hands cut out. I'm my 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 hands full here. My work cut out. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right, so here is the Thanksgiving meal draft according to Corey, Jason, and Sean. Corey is going with. Turkey, cranberry sauce, hash brown casserole, pumpkin pie, and the ham sandwich that follows it up. Yep, there yep. Too that later. is very traditional. Like, yeah, is, it's a very like traditional, that. very it traditional, is. but yep. very, is, I would definitely, very strong. Yep. Jason is going with the non traditional Boston butt with the stuffing dressing, potato casserole, pecan pie. And the breakfast omelet. Mm. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad. Sean is going with ham, deviled eggs, mac and cheese, cranberry cake, and the ham salad, Mm -hmm. which is intriguing. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good, too. So I'm going to pick a... I'll do start, bench, and cut with this. <laughs> I'll do start, bench, and cut. I better uh, not be on the cut list. <laughs> this, these are three. Uh, that's. Yeah, they, they I'm not mad about well. any of these. It's not a bad. It's not I'm a bad thing. I would eat most of our picks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There, as a, as individual entrees and sides I, there's probably nothing on here i wouldn't try uh Except for olives yeah olives didn't they make, didn't make it on there they didn't make it that was mention. a dishonorable mention <laughs> <laughs> but i'm going to have to unfortunately cut sean oh sean, not the honey baked ham sean, uh, I, the I mac mean, and cheese is is for me that was never part of a traditional uh thing Cranberry cake I've never heard of. <laughs> ham salad is intriguing to me, and I probably would eat that. I love ham. I'm not going to knock you on any of this. And I love deviled eggs, but I couldn't see myself sitting down and, and being satisfied if that was my meal. <laughs> and so I'm sorry to say, Sean, that you are cut. Um, that leaves me with starting uh, or benching Corey or Jason. And uh, I think you all already know where I'm going. That's exactly yeah. right. I would know. The know winner is, is. I got to start Corey. Yeah. I got to start Corey. It, I mean, that is a I really good You cannot get more, st- more standard. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's not, uh, <laughs> Are you saying basic? Yes. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that's very. No, not basic. No, it's just traditional. It's very traditional. I think he's saying basic. Tradi- no, like, there is not like, going to be. There are going to be nobody's, very few. Nobody's going to turn their nose up. No, that. there are going to be very few Thanksgivings that don't have everything that he I have every bit of this every Thanksgiving. Yes, I, I do too. I'm with you, hundred percent. So, but I'm not out, I'm Jason. I'm not out on the pork. Uh, I would love to try your Dr Pepper pork. You can mix that, you know, yeah, make yeah. that for me sometime, and yeah. I'll give it a shot. And I love make dressing. that potato casserole for you. The too. only thing Corey's missing is the dressing, or we, and we'd have it all. But yeah, uh, yeah. In, yeah, interesting. Very good. All right, so that was your Thanksgiving meal draft we hope that we helped you all figure out your menus for we are gonna have to get all holiday seasons because I'm yeah. really curious oh, it, is. Yeah. it would be so odd <laughs> yeah he, he told me they do like shrimp cocktail or something <laughs> we might have to just have a bonus episode does with he this. have a turd Duncan on him 
Turducken. 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 I want to try that so bad. Yeah. I want to try that so bad. I've never I had it. I want to wait for the right group to have them pull it out. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <Some> melody. <Yeah. laughs> no, she would be she okay. Does, she but does. I, can, okay. I can think of some people that would probably fall for that. Oh, so. I would love the Turducken. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining in for our lighthearted uh Merry host. Christmas, by the way. Post trunk or treat pre <laughs> Thanksgiving uh, podcast. We hope you gave some ideas, and obviously, Sean is already in Thanksgiving mm-hmm. Christmas mode, and both of them have lit their houses. Mm-hmm. I forgot the ladder. I got to get that. I'll That's okay. Back. I'm not uh, planning to get up on the roof today. Okay, I'll bring, you can get it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll bring it tomorrow. All right. Thank you for listening. We hope that you found something of uh, great import during this podcast. If you like something, you can share it. Let us know you liked it. Let us know future uh, podcast topics that you would like us to cover. We may or may not do it. <laughs> we can't prank any. We will happily test any of your Thanksgiving yes, recipes. Yes, exactly if you've right. got if you've got a winning Thanksgiving recipe that we need to try, bring it and we'll yep. talk about it favorably upon the podcast in the future. So we'll do unless it has olives in. It. Yeah, don't bring it. Save keep, <laughs> keep your black olives. <laughs> Keep your black olives. Thanks for listening, and let's say bye, fellas. See ya. See ya. Thank you for listening to see more from the front pew. Our sole desire for this podcast is to glorify God by educating and encouraging his body. If you would like to learn more about anything you've heard today, feel free to reach out by email at staff at seymourfbc.org or by visiting our website at seymourfbc.org. If you're located near our community and do not have a church home, come worship with us at 1015 a.m. on Sunday morning. Until then, we pray God's richest blessings on you and yours as you love God, love others, make disciples, and live the life.